In Charles Elphick versus Times Media Limited, the court addressed costs issues following the discontinuance of a defamation claim by a former MP against the Times. The key issues were whether to depart from the usual costs order on discontinuance and how to address alleged misconduct, including the Times' failure to preserve evidence before discontinuance and, after discontinuance, the misuse of witness statements in publications and social media, misrepresenting their content and breaching Rule 32.12. The court held that conduct after discontinuance could be considered under CPR 38.6, finding that these failures were sufficiently serious to justify departing from the usual order. The claimant was ordered to pay 80% of the defendant's costs. Quote, there is nothing in the rule to imply that conduct after discontinuance cannot be relevant and the Brooks decision does not require, but merely envisages that usually a change of circumstances of that sort. Neither a change of circumstances nor a causal linkage are mandated by the rule or the authority, even if those would be the norm. And Mr. Elphick's express position was that this case is very far from the norm, involving as it does misuse of statement for collateral purposes and, he says, other matters making this not a usual case. For a detailed summary of this decision, visit tmclegal.co.uk.